Good afternoon everyone, I'm back, Luter FM, for another episode of Fight Club Pro on TOEW 2020, where you left us off last. We um, started the era of Fight Club Pro without Mark Andrews, our super worker. Um, sadly, in the, uh, the last two episodes that you watched, we also lost Ginny as well, our best female worker. So we are struggling at the moment, but we're just powering through and we're just making do with what we've got. Um, hoping that eventually one day we can pick up a, another super worker at some point, maybe hopefully one day, you never know, might be able to bring Mark Andrews back. But, um, but yeah, so, so the reign of Thomas Billington has started. Um, he's gone from being a tag team wrestler and then being a singles wrestler and now being the champion. He is, he is a good worker, so he deserves his push. Um, but yeah, so we're just trying to figure out what matches to do for the event um now the next event for fight club pro coming up in a minute is the dream tag team invitational so it'll just be simply tag team matches um what i might do is just just create tag teams basically and then we'll see how it goes as you know i don't really think about what i'm doing until i'm doing it live so just i hope that's the style that you like let me know if you want me to be a bit more um Pre, pre-booking basically if you want me to think before I do it let me know in the comment section thank you for the people who have been commenting and liking the video so far much appreciated but anyway on with the on with the episode I'll be back in a sec with the first show of the episode right and we're back and um, I need to change the announcers I need to change Bully Ray back as the colour commentator, because we're getting more issues with Rey Mysterio as the colour commentator. But let me just see, let me just double check before I... So Bully Ray's probably our best. Hmm, should we try Grado? I'm going to try Grado. I'll try Grado and see how we get on, because Grado potentially has a better colour commentary, potential colour commentary. Um, but they have lower experience to go, so it will take a while for them to gel, but hopefully they'll gel quickly enough. Uh, we need them to really. Right then, here we go. Let's see how we get on. So um, I'm not going to do it as a as a tournament. I'm just literally just going to do loads of different tag team matches with wrestlers that you wouldn't normally have in a tag team. So my first inkling is. To put a tag team of Calvin Tankman and Chris Hero, two beefy boys. Uh, have we not got Calvin? Oh, we haven't got Calvin. Let me have a look. See who's available, not available. I don't think we've lost Calvin. I don't think he's gone elsewhere. Uh, is it that one? I can't remember. No, it's that one. Right, absent workers. Oh, we need to do a psycho sermon first. Okay, so that hopefully helps. Right, Calvin Tankman. Working for Game Changer. Okay, fair enough. So we can't do the tag team that I wanted to do, which is annoying. David Boy Smith still not available. Kit Wilson's injured. Rampage Brown is working elsewhere. So is Trent. Okay, we're just going to make do with what we've got, really. So we've still got Chris Hero. So what we'll do is we'll do Chris Hero and... Um, let's think. I'm going to go with... Colton Gunn on the chance that they become a good tag team and then I can give Colton Colton Gunn more time in the ring. Uh, I'm gonna put I'm just literally doing these at random, so this is gonna be a very random show. So you never know. Oh yeah, this mouse is I still haven't figured out how to get this mouse just right. It's very sensitive. Right, so we're going to do... Next one we're going to do is... I'm going to put Charlie Dempsey in a match. In a match. And we'll have him... Uh, oh. Him and... Oh my God. There we go. Uh, right. Him and maybe... We'll go... Rich Swan, and then we'll have Gringo Loco, 
uh, an Iron Angels actually. Uh, we'll try them out as a tag team. Oh, this mouse, I don't want it to click on certain things and it clicks on it. It's really irritating me now. Right, so that's the next one done. Uh, I am aware that we haven't done any angles yet, so we better do some angles. So we'll do Chris Hero, microphone. Um, who's he tagging up with? Colton Gurn. Microphone, and then FE, microphone, and who is he tagging up with again? Griff. Microphone, there you go. And I'll do another angle, this time with Charlie Dempsey. We'll have him attack. So him and Rich Swan uh, attacking. Who, is, who are they wrestling again? Gringo Loco and Adam Angels. Oh, we'll just we'll just have them brawl with each other before the match. After the match, we'll just do it after the match. So it'll be like a post-match brawl between the four of them. Right. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, no, I didn't want to do that. There you go. Right. So now we'll do Elton Prince, Mysterious Junior, Levi Moore. Joe Henry. This is like the the good old days of WCW. Uh, this one will have Joseph Connors, Kid Lycos Two versus. Uh, T.K. Cooper, Thomas Billington. This is all in the aid of hoping to create some uh, fluky, really good tag teams out of nowhere. Right. How long have we got left? We've got, another, we've got ages yet, so I'm just going to do an angle. Joseph, microphone. Uh, who was it? Who was he tagging up with again? Kid like us two, and then it was TK Cooper, Thomas Billington. All right, so we'll just put that there. So we've done eighty-seven minutes so far. We've got another forty minutes. We've got to do just yet. Um. We'll probably run out of wrestlers in a minute because if you look here on the male side of things, we're uh, we're running out. Right, we'll do Carmen Noir, Carly Colon versus Eddie Colon and Grado. Very random. That's the way I like them. Random tag matches in this show. Uh, at least it makes it a bit fun um, for the rest of you watching. Oh yeah, we can't have Grado in this one. As a color commentator, as he's wrestling. So we'll do one more match, I think. Uh, Blue Kane. Maybe we don't have Blue Kane with Al no, no, Al Fantasma. Um, Nathan Martin versus QT Marshall and Mark Briscoe. Love that twenty minutes. What's that? Oh yeah, road agent Ricky Steamer. There you go. Right, and then let's get the show started. Uh, so the angle did all right. We'll just ignore the angles. We'll just concentrate on the matches because that's what everybody prefers anyway. Uh, no super tag teams made here. Um, Effie was the standout performer, 65. Um, I 
No super tag teams here, unfortunately. Uh, Rich Swan was the standout performer, followed by Anna Angels. Uh, again, no super tag. This is very depressing. I was hoping to find at least one good tag team out of nowhere. Uh, Mysterious Junior, that's 71 rating. 88, Jesus Christ, that's amazing. Oh yeah, because I have got like three of my best workers in here, that's why. Uh, four actually, because TK Cooper, I forgot. Oh my God, TK Cooper, the 90. Well, if anything, we've we've um, found a new single star. I mean, I have used TK Cooper in the past, kind of got lost in the shuffle, but he's now going to get a bit of more of a push um, and he's going to wrestle more. 90 is really, really good. And then the other tag team match, um, oh no, we got more. So, got a 73 rating, which ain't too bad. Cara Noir got an 85. Uh, Grado is absolute shite. Sorry, Grado fans, but he is. He'll just stay as a colour commentator from now on. Cara Noir with a standout performance, though. This match got a 70, probably because of Nathan Martin with 83, super worker. Blue Kane got 48, which is pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't create any really good tag teams, which is a shame. But, it was a fun show. Increased our popularity in 56 regions. Got a 72 rating and 295 people. So that will help with our popularity greatly. Rene Michelle here. Uh, Spud, you lucky man. True story. I've, uh, I sat next to Spud's mom many, many years ago when Spud was starting off. Um, watching him wrestle Johnny Storm at a local show I went to. She was very nice. Very nice woman. Right, so we've got a lot of these deals expiring, so offline, I'll sort that out. Uh, we've got 3,900 viewers, 21,928 altogether. Alright. Uh, let's just click on here, so if there's anything we need to be aware of. Right, and I'll, uh, I'll be back in a sec with the next show. Right, we've got uh, the first Afterburn episode of the of this episode, basically. Of this video um, so we'll go we'll start the show with a tag team match not, not a random tag team match like last time um, we'll go female so we'll go Hayley Ray Julia versus uh, Jetta and Kelly and English minutes that can kick off the show uh, I am actually going to do a random tag team match I'm curious how Levi Muir and Blue, and Blue Kane would do I need to, I'm going to put them against a good tag team though and uh, we'll leave this blank we'll let the AI decide but we will do a pre-match, uh, post-show post beatdown. Um, right, because TK Cooper did really well, he's going to have a match against Rich Swan. We'll go 17 minutes, we'll go steal the show, an open match, and then all that match as well. I think these two will put on an absolute cracker of a match, but now I've said that, probably jinxed it. Okay, it won't let us do that, so we'll just do 15 minutes, hopefully that'll be okay. And then we'll just do an angle before that. Uh, so we'll have TK Cooper on the mic as well. So, there we go. Right then, so that's that. Um, just need to push that there. I think that's it. We're uh, we're good to go. Good thing about an afterburn episode; it doesn't take us long to book. 
So the opening match got 77. Um, Kelly Ray was the stand-up performer, but everybody else did their bit. Kelly Anish could be one for the future with us, with the company. Um, 75 rating for the um, tag team match. More than hype beat Levi Moore and Blue Kane. There's no, there's nothing to say whether Blue Kane and Levi Moore was good or bad, so it is what it is. Um, Levi Moore with a 59, Blue, Blue Kane with a 47. Stand up performer was Nathan Martin. And beat down afterwards got a 57 rating. Uh, and then the um, interview before the main event got a 64. And then the main event got a 93. That's really good. TK Cooper with 86 rating. Slightly less than last match, but still really good. Rich Swan with a 83. I swear that's the biggest, the best match we've had. Um, but obviously it was all like an all-out match. Steal the show, so that's what you get. Um, 115 people, 83 rating overall, but no changes to popularity. But really good afterburn episode that was. Um, TK Cooper's going to get more ring time, I think. I think. I think I'm I'm less worried on the male side than I am on the female side. On the female side, we've literally got. No, on the male side, we've got quite a few. We've got about 10. Uh, oh, Roman Reigns and Maya Yim now hate each other because of the Wesley Blake Maya Yim affair. Uh, same with Roman Reigns. Why is Roman Reigns getting involved? He's, I don't understand that because it's not like he, is he connected. Oh, here we go. Here we go. That is so annoying. Oh, no. They're going to nick our tag team champions. And also, they're literally robbing us of all of our mate, a lot of our good stars. This is really frustrating. <laughs> we need to get more popular so they don't leave us. So we can hand out written contracts. We're going to lose literally all of our... I'm hoping with Dragon Gate that it's uh, like a touring thing. So they'll come back eventually. But oh, I, don't, I don't know. Right then, I'll be back in a minute with the next show. Hopefully with some news one way or another what's happening. This game is very annoying. Um, <clears throat> I've lost Kellyanne English and I've lost TK Cooper who've gone elsewhere on written exclusive written contracts. So just as I've rediscovered the brilliance of TK Cooper, he gets taken away from me. The cruel twist of fate that is TW 2020 and the wrestling world in general. Very, very frustrating, but it is what it is. We've just got to get on with it. Um, Sadly. Right, so opening match will be Levi Mule versus Jack Evans. Levi Mule wins. Uh, we'll do an angle afterwards. Just have it as my, as Levi Mule on the mic. We won't bother with Jack Evans on that one. Do Blue Kane. Versus Rich Swan. And then we'll have Blue Cane win. And we'll have a post match beat down by Blue Cane. As much as I am pretty unpredictable, I do have a certain pattern of booking as well, at times. At times, I say. Oh, I think Ashton Smith's gone as well. So that's our tag team champions. Uh, let's have a look at the titles. Are they still the tag champions? Or are they now breaking? No, they're still the tag champions, so maybe he hasn't, maybe he hasn't gone yet. But to be on the safe side, um, I will take the tag titles off them. And uh, put them on more than hype. Who are a very good tag team. Who can definitely um, put on a good match every time they wrestle. So we'll just do steal the show. Open match. All that match. So with Ashton Smith going, um, that might mean Rampage Brown will be uh, higher up the card as a singles wrestler. 
Oh, hold on. I forgot to put the winners. Winner. Darren Kearney. Nathan Martin. Mate, Nathan Martin deserves a title run anyway. He's, he's done really well. Uh, how long have we got? Oh, we've done too, too much anyway. So we'll just do... There you go. All this mouse pad. Right. So, Levi Moore defeated Jack Evans, got a 62 rating. Levi Moore got a 59 rating, which is pretty good. Blue Kane got a 70, had a 75 match um, with Rich Swan. He only, he only got a 45 performance, so eventually I might just have to give up on the Blue Kane and Levi Moore experiments. I, I wanted them to get better as workers, so they justify their push, but at the moment they're not doing it. Uh, I might put them together as a tag team and then that way it might make it a little bit easier. I'll see. Anyway, uh, more than the hype, won the tag team titles in the main event. Um, Standout performer was Nathan Martin, Darren Kearney was second, and then Rampage Brown was four. Uh, could have deserved, could, match could have deserved better color commentary, but it's still a good match overall, 89. Can't complain too much. Uh, 78 rating for the show, 119 people, no increase in popularity there. Uh, that's not too bad. Oh, I'm gutted about TK Cooper. I wish I never discovered him, he probably wouldn't have got taken off me. Bloody Dragon Gate. Sorry, oh, as I'm recording this, it's, um, it's literally 7 in the morning. My body just gets me used to getting up early. I've uh, I've signed quite a few women, new women's wrestlers. So the next Afterburn episode, we will be, um, we will be testing out these women, see if they're any good. Right, when's the next show? Okay, so I'll be back in a minute with the next show. Right, we're back. Um, I've signed a few women's wrestlers. So the first match of this afterburn episode it's going to be a pre-show 10 women's match with some of the women that we've got so far the new ones so april davids uh connie Steele, courtney debbie sharp uh, J janie b kirsty love mystique i think that says pom i need i thought it said porn but it's pom Sarah, Mar uh, Sarah Marie Taylor and Siri. So I've managed to get a few Japanese. Oh, hold on. Okay, so we can't do that one because Kirsty Love is injured. So uh, who else do we put in there? Uh, Varja. So that is that there. So we'll just do 15 minutes. So that's the pre-show match done. And then what we'll do now is we'll have the... There's there's not many left. There's only about... I think there's like two other women that haven't wrestled for us yet. So there's a few wrestling elsewhere as well, which will be available at some point. So we'll use them at some point as well. So we'll just leave that for now. We'll hope that one of them becomes a decent women's worker. Because we really are lacking in women's wrestlers that are good at the moment. So we'll have the rematch for the tag titles to kick off the main show. Um, yeah, I'll do, don't matter. Uh, the new tag team champions retained against the old tag team champions. We'll go storytelling in this one. We'll go open match, all that match. And then we'll do an angle with them. Uh, Let's have a look rated on. Let's see what we rate. I want them to basically handshake each other after the match acting, maybe. We'll go, we'll go star quality, see if that'll do anything. 
let me know in the comments section um, which one I should have picked to like a respect thing. There isn't, I don't think there's a respect one on here, so. All right, so that's that one. And then, uh, I don't think we've got Kelly Six anymore. I think he might have left to go elsewhere. No, we still got him. That's good. I'll have him against the Bellman Bruiser. Give him a test, see if he can do well. We'll have the Bellman Bruiser fighting Kelly Six selling. So it'll be like a post match beat down. Um, 49 minutes, so we can still do uh, like 16 minute match, maybe 15 minute match. So we'll do we'll do a women's match, Kaylee Ray versus Should we have her? Oh, who should we have her against? Megan Bain. Who is the women's champion at the moment? Is it, it's not Ginny because she's not here anymore. A vacant. Oh, there we go. Because it because Ginny was injured, I didn't bother taking the title off her, and then I forgot that she's uh, no longer in the company. Yeah. We'll leave that. You never know. We might have a surprise and Megan Bay might win. Uh, we just need to take that down by a minute. And then we are good to go. It's alright. I'm keeping on. Baxter, Baxter yesterday decided to chew my um, cable for my laptop. Uh, he only he didn't do much damage, but he definitely annoyed me because I've only just, I've only just got this laptop. I don't want to have to get another charger for it right so connie's still got 46 ah there we go palm uh palm Har harajuku harajuku palm harajuku got 68 which is good siri got 79 so siri and palm uh Har haraku whatever they're called the others uh Varja needs to go Janie b needs to go debbie chart needs to go Probably April Davis needs to go. The rest are okay. I'll keep some of these, even if they're not very good, just to um, just to bulk up the women's roster a bit, really, because it is lacking a bit. So, in the opening match, um, more than hype defeated Pod. Got a seventy-five rating. Not as good as I thought it would be. Uh, Nathan Martin was the best wrestler. The angle after was only got a 34, so I think maybe that was a, not a good idea to do star quality. Uh, Kelly Six defeated the Valley Mum Bruiser, got an 82 rating. Um, Kelly Six stands out. Uh, Debbie Sharp needs to go because she's not a very good referee as well. Angle after was got a 66. And then the main event, Kaylee Ray defeated Megan Bain to win her, I don't know how many, she's won the women's title quite a few times now. Oh, this is good. Uh, Ronaldo and Grado work extremely well together. That's really good to know. So it was a good idea putting Grado in there. Megan Bain only got a 44 rating, but like I said, we are unfortunately um, the game doesn't rate the women's wrestlers as well as the men's. So we're not, we are going to struggle to find really good women's wrestlers on here. But yeah, not a bad afterburn episode. Uh, 74 rating, no change in popularity, 116 people attended. Uh, right, I'll be back in a minute with the next, with the final show of the episode. Right, we're back for the last um, episode, last show of the episode. Sorry, uh, we've got a backstage incident, just a normal box stand. Johnny kid gives uh, blue cane tips. Um, let's have a look and see who the absent workers are. So we've not got many absents, uh, which is good. So right, let's start again how we did it last time, and we'll just do. I think we'll just do a six-way women's pre-show match. Right, so who wasn't hit was Connie. Connie still wrestled the last one, didn't she? Uh, that's it. Keiho Kamiyashi. Is Kirsty Love still injured? We'll soon find out. Uh, 
then join. And then what we'll do is put Vita, Vita on Ron Steele because she hasn't wrestled, I don't think, for us yet. Um, I could be wrong. We've got Megan Bain and uh, Masha. So they haven't wrestled for a while either. So. Oh, yeah, we can't have Kirsty Love in there. So instead of Kirsty Love, we'll put our, we'll put Pom in there. Right, so that's that done. Um, and what we'll do, we'll start the, the main show with a six-man male match. And we'll pick wrestlers that haven't wrestled for a while. Al Fox. Uh, Danny Duggan. Some of these might not have even wrestled for us yet, like Tony Harting. I don't think he's wrestled for a sensor hasn't Zenza sorry hasn't. Uh I don't think Shane Mercer Shane Mercer might have actually. Let's see if there's anybody else here. Sorry, I have to literally stare right at the screen because my vision is not the best. Uh, nah, leave it as that. Oh um Davy Boy Smith Jr. hasn't wrestled for us yet, so we'll we'll give him his debut in this match. And then what we'll do now is we'll just do a couple of normal singles matches. Do a women's match, Kaylee Ray versus uh, who do we have her against Valkyrie maybe? Oh no, Sairuri, because she worked really well last match, so we'll give her a match. I will add photos in the uh Next, by the time next week's episodes come along. Uh, just leave it. I'll leave, I'll leave the AI to deal with it. Nice. So just put that there. Like so. So we've done 43 minutes, we've got to do another 12, well, 20 minutes, but we've also got to be aware of doing an angle. So we'll do 15 minutes, main event, and we'll have Thomas Billington defend his title because he hasn't done that for a while. We'll actually have it defended against A-Kid. I think they'll have a decent match. Oh, we don't need to do an angle, won't be penalised, there's no point. Right, so the six women's match, uh, I got 57 rating. Yoi was the winner. Any stand up performers? Um, oh, Yoi got an 82. So Yoi and Sarori, uh, definite good additions to the women's, ros uh, women's roster. Um, Pom, Harajaku, Haru, and Keiho Kabayashi are good. But a lot of these women, unfortunately, they're only with us for three months. Because that says that's all they wanted to come here for, so we're just going to make the best of the, make the most of having them here. Uh, the great performance of Yoi really stood out. Oh, great! Typical. She gets an injury in the first match, even though she had a great performance. Right, and then in the six man's match, um, Senza Volto. I'd never heard of him. I know I, I hired him because he looked pretty good from his attributes. Uh, he won, got a 75 rating. Uh, AR Fox got a 70. Senza Volto got an 81. Okay, that's good. And David Boy Smith Jr. got a 78. So that's two new workers that we can put in the main event scene or the mid car scene. So that's really good. And then the women's match got an 85 rating. Kaylee Ray defeated Sorori. Um, Kaylee Ray got an 83. Sorori got a 79. So that's really good as well. And then the main event um, got a 78. Thomas Billington successfully defended his title for the fourth time. Uh, he got a 77 rating, Aker got a 65. 
So not the best performance by Thomas Boonton, but it doesn't matter at the end of the day. The show increased the popularity in one region. We got an overall rating of 77, and we got 120 people coming in. So that's good. So that show, um, so on the women's side, we've got Yoi and Sorori um, that can get in the mix with Kaylee Ray and that. And then we've got on the men's side, David Boy, David Boy Smith Jr. and Senza Volto, which is really good. Should we go for Dana Brooke? No, she's not interested. We didn't want her anyway. Yeah, so Yoi's injured, so let's see how long she's injured for. No, in my look, she's probably injured for the whole time that she's going to be here, which is three months. That would be typical of this save. Oh no, only five days, luckily. So she'll be back in time for the next Afterburn episode. But um, we'll see about that next week. Uh, not next week, um, on the weekend. So yeah, so anyway, uh, let me just drag this across. There we go. Yeah, so really nice episode, really fun episode as usual. Um, we found some new stars. We say goodbye to some stars. So it's a bit bittersweet, but as always, we've got to constantly just keep churning out new stars we're literally like ecw in 2000 or well ecw in general when they kept losing stars they had to make new ones and that's what we've got to do so uh, i hope you're enjoying the ride with me and um i'll be back on saturday with another tw episode i hope you enjoy this one leave me a comment let me know what you think and uh, i'll speak to you soon all the best bye